All right, we're going to review hip abduction and the muscles that um, do this motion. We're looking at the frontal view. And remember, hip abduction is in the frontal plane, and the axis is the AP axis. All right. So as we see the, the limb, this is an open chain abduction. Uh, the leg moving away from the midline. First muscle we're going to see is the gluteus medius. That is an abductor muscle, creates an abductor internal torque. Also the gluteus minimus, those two should always be linked. And when we go to the anterior side, we see the TFL through the IT band, sorry about that arrow, and it also works with the gluteus maximus through that IT band. All right, I wanted to focus on specifically the gluteal muscles just a bit during this section. Um, first of all, the gluteus maximus, um, largest, heaviest muscle in the body. It is the main extensor of the hip joint. And the second function is lateral rotation. But the reason I'm uh, talking about it in the hip abduction video is because through its insertion points of the IT band, along with the TFL on the anterior side, both of those muscles through the IT band create an abductor torque about the hip joint. The main abductors are the gluteus medius and the gluteus minimus. And when you're learning these muscles, it's easy to just put these muscles as a unit, right? These are triplets or three brothers or sisters say, gluteus maximus is the eldest or the youngest, nobody deals with them. Uh, gluteus medius and minimus are tight and they stay together. So they're predominantly the abductors. Their second function is medial rotation of the hip. Um, some of the fibers can also be uh, lateral rotation of the hip. The attachment points for the gluteus maximus is the iliac crest down around the sacrum and the coccyx and into the iliotibial tibial tract, which is the IT band, and the gluteal tuberosity, which we saw on the, the femur. The IT band is a band of collagen fibers, super, super stiff. It's hard to roll this, right? It's, it's if you're gonna roll anything, focus on muscles, but I would focus on strengthening or lengthening muscles. Um, but rolling this stiff uh, piece of collagen seems to be a little futile. The gluteus maximus and the tensor fascia lata, as, as I said, share the IT band as an attachment point, um, and they uh, stabilize the uh, knee on the lateral side. Um, so uh, the gluteus maximus, it's posterior, so it is an extensor of the hip, which we'll get to in a lateral rotator, and it abducts the hip through the IT band, which is why I'm talking about it in this section. The TFL, or the tensor fascia lata, lies anterior to the acetabulum, so it's a flexor of the hip, a medial rotator, and again, an abductor through the IT band attachment. We'll look at some images specifically of these hip muscles that are on the lateral side of the hip joint, and that is why they create an abductor torque, um, specifically the gluteus medius and minimus, and again, kind of put those together in your mind, and then the TFL or the tensor fascia lata. First, we'll look at the gluteus medius and the minimus. And so the gluteus medius is a uh, superficial to the gluteus minimus, so it's on um, the lateral surface of the ilium, and it goes into the uh, greater trochanter. And then we'll see that the gluteus minimus is just a little down on that uh, lateral side of the, ilia, the ilium, also going to the greater trochanter. So the gluteus medius and minimus share functions, abduction, and they share an insertion point which is the greater trochanter. And then one is just above the other, right? The medius is a little larger and more superficial than the minimus. They also share their neural innervation, which is the superior gluteal nerve. 
I always remember it because the gluteus maximus is the inferior gluteal nerve and the minimus and the medius is the superior gluteal nerve. Also, tensor fascia lata, which is also a hip abductor, is the superior gluteal nerve for its innervation. So all abductors share an innervation. Um, it's anterior to the hip joint going into the IT band and it's hip flexor and also an abductor because it's going into the IT band on the lateral side of the knee and along with the gluteus maximus, uh, it creates that abductor torque. 